I'm saying? Definitely. Versus going around rocking anywhere else, you know what I'm saying? Even on the east side, man, we talking about 12 and all that, man. The property value is going up. Move these brothers up out the way. So an opportunity like this, I would have took advantage. And exactly, that's what I was doing when I was up here, man. I was heading out my cores and letting them know, man, look here. I don't want to see not a nail. Stanley Steam on the east side no more. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Already. Business, man. You know, why charge my people $109, man, on three rooms? I'm charging $69. Give them the same value. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With a warrant. Can't beat that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you do car be cleaning, man? Oh, yeah. Exactly. Hey, man, you got caught? Yeah. I gotta fuck with you, man. Come on. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Tile and ground a post and stuff like that. Yeah. So, when people were looking at this right here, man, as a, as a messed up situation, my issue was, brothers really should have woke up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And while they were cold and dying, we should have been out here with the, with, with, with the nauticals and the, the food food. Yeah. You know Just like they got the bomber players, man, the shirts and whatever. Yeah. So I'd have been out here with that. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, as a businessman, that was a huge opportunity. I was going to close there and two. I'm open up at two. You know what I'm saying? Really like 12, so I can go there and have me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hand out my cars and, you know, forget the strip club. So come out here, man. Let's, let's, it's a shame that the uh, Korean community is doing better than us, man. Definitely. <laughs> we at the it's bottom, saying, man. man. It's staying in that community. The dollar staying in that community longer than it is us. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I, I, I just hope everybody, man, just, you know, get it together, man. You know what I'm saying? For real. That is, right there. Ah! It all starts, man, with us, man, so yeah. definitely, we're going to make it happen, man. It needs to be a change. We need to start stepping up really seriously, man. And you can start up, man. It's nice to hear that you got your own business, man. That's oh, yeah. that's a rarity amongst It's all about hard work and dedication, man. I mean, the individuals start to see that, man. I mean, you know, we'll see a whole nother, we'll see the change, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can see that change, man, if it's hard work and dedication, bro. Definitely. If we just look about four o'clock by night, it just ain't wrong, man. Can I get to Cam Nelson about what was going on? Get your comments. Can you can you explain to us, you know, the people, uh, what happened out here today? What transpired? Well, we came here today to show folks that number one, we respect each other, and we're gonna begin to empower ourselves in different ways. The first thing is though, the small can't violate the law. They broke laws last week for public accommodation. Next step is when organizations like today to get involved and work to empower our own people. We've got organizations, NACP, others, City of Boston, County of Travis. We're going to make sure next year, as it did last year, this event goes further east in Travis County with events that we can accommodate young people with businesses and otherwise make sure the small is not an issue. But this is a first step in terms of awareness, consciousness, education, and working together. We had over 100 of they doing the same thing, calling for the same thing. But this is just the beginning, first step of a long journey. The journey continues. So the struggle continues. Would there be any follow-ups oh, to that? Oh, there are hearings right now, legal <laughs> hearings, taking place here, nationally, city of the county already. We have legal hearings right now. So where can people find out more about this? I would say tune into the NCP's website. Call me, KZI, the villager, the core. We're going to have this thing covered every week until we complete our goals. Okay. Nelson Linden, man, president of the NAACP chapter of Austin, man. And can you give him a number where people contact with you? Yes, sir. Call me at 695-6674. 695-6674. Thank you. Brother, I want to thank you, James, for the work that you're doing. Stay involved, okay? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you.